74,000 years ago, a thriving world of early humans was shattered by the eruption of the Toba supervolcano. With a force 1,000 times greater than Mount St. Helens, it ejected 2,800 cubic kilometers of ash, darkening skies across the globe. This was a VI-8 event, the most catastrophic volcanic eruption in human history. The stage was set for a fight for survival. For years after the eruption, sulfur aerosols filled the atmosphere, blocking sunlight and plunging Earth into a volcanic winter. Temperatures dropped by up to 10 degrees Celsius globally, causing widespread crop failures and ecosystem collapse. This was not just a local disaster, it was a planetary crisis. The few surviving human tribes faced starvation and extreme cold in a world suddenly turned hostile. Genetic evidence reveals that humanity nearly went extinct during this period. Our DNA shows a bottleneck where the global population may have shrunk to just 3,000 breeding pairs. This explains why humans today have remarkably low genetic diversity compared to other species. The Toba catastrophe left permanent scars in our genome, a ghostly reminder of how close we came to disappearing forever. Anthropologists believe coastal refuges may have saved humanity. Groups with access to marine resources could survive when land-based food chains collapsed. These resilient bands developed new tools and social strategies to endure. Their story is one of incredible adaptation, proof that even in the face of near extinction, human ingenuity can find a way forward. Today, the Toba catastrophe serves as both a warning and an inspiration. While supervolcanoes still pose existential threats, humanity's survival proves our remarkable resilience. But modern civilization's interconnected systems make us newly vulnerable. Toba's lesson is clear. Understanding past catastrophes is our best preparation for future ones. Our ancestors survived against impossible odds. Now, we must honor their legacy.